A significant earthquake struck central Bangladesh today, Friday, November 21st, 2025, at approximately 10.38 a.m. local time. A magnitude 5.5, according to the USGS, or a 5.7, according to the Bangladesh Meteorological Department. The shaking lasted around 26 seconds in many areas. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sending prayers to the people. At least six people have been killed. Reports range from maybe five or six, including a newborn, and others from a collapsed wall in Nuranga, Gangi, and Dhaka. Hundreds of others have been injured in Narsingi alone. Many injuries occurred from people rushing out of buildings, stampedes in garment factories, where gates were reportedly locked or falling debris. There's been reports of cracks in buildings, collapsed walls, and roofs, minor structure damage reported, and some power outages and load shedding due to disruptions at power stations. This is described as one of the strongest earthquakes felt in Bangladesh in recent history. Tremors also reached neighboring India, um, especially there in West Bengal, and parts of Northeast India, uh, causing people to run outdoors, but with no major damage or casualties reported there. This shallow earthquake amplified the shaking in the densely populated area of the Dhaka region. Today's earthquake was most likely associated with the Madhapur Fault, also known as the Madhapur Blind Fault System, or the Fault, fault System, bounding the Madhapur Track. This is a fault that is uh, buried with no clear surface expression that accommodate ongoing tectonic uplift and deformation. The shallow depth, only 10 kilometers or about 6 miles, is typical of interplate crustal faults like those around the Mudapur plot rather than deep plate boundary events. As of making this video, um, there's been no um, official USGS mechanism ball or detailed tectonic summary has been released yet that names the exact rupture, which has, you know, they can't say exactly what fault ruptured right now. But the location and the expert commentary strongly point to the Medipur fault system. Earthquakes of this size, magnitude 5.5 to 5.7, often produce a sequence of smaller tremors as the faults adjust. However, many moderate quakes on blind uh, faults, like the Medipur fault, have limited or very weak aftershock sequences. If any do occur, they haven't reported any yet, but most likely would be below a magnitude 4.0, barely felt or unfelt by most people. 823 people did send in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. They gave it an intensity level of 6. And here you can see it was felt over a very wide area. Yeah, all the way up to the south. Um, I wonder if that's India. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure it is. Yeah, all right. And we'll bring it down. Yeah, yeah. Sending prayers to those poor people. Their construction looked pretty good from the videos that I did watch, um, which was really surprising. Um, and another thing that really surprised me was it was mostly men that were outside um, that panicked and went outside. Evidently, it is a holiday there, so a lot of people are home. There was mass evacuation from high-rises, offices, schools, and garment factories. Some gates, like I said, were uh, locked, causing over 200 injuries. They're at Gazapur factory from people trying to get out rushing. Some roads were blocked by debris and a minor fire occurred at Gurishal. No major damage to bridges, dams, or nuclear power plants. Seven power plants shut down nationwide shortly after the earthquake. The uh, Gurishal 
uh, grid substation um, suffered a fire and installator damage that knocked out uh, transmission lines. No reports of long-term nationwide blackouts. The disruptions were mostly resolved um, by the afternoon or evening their time. The situation is still being assessed as of late today their time with emergency teams clearing debris and hospitals treating the injured. Authorities urge people to avoid damaged buildings due to aftershock risks. So for people that are in that area, they need to uh, stay alert. Be aware that um, aftershocks will probably occur. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Sending prayers to those poor people. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.